All right, guys. Today I'm trying to record even more. I killed my voice box. It hurts to speak, but I'm still gonna record for your entertainment. God damn it, hurts. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the glorious Linux Master Race. All right. So this is beautiful here. So we have it set to all-time tops. So right here we can see. No, not now. I'm already joined. I'm a Linux user. All right, let's take a look at this first one. Hey, can I uninstall Edge? Now your system will break. I'm going to uninstall the bootloader. <laughs> Go ahead, lol. That is actually kind of serious. I tried to uninstall Edge on Microsoft on uh, Windows as like a joke, as like just kind of like a joke. No, that's this. But like as a joke. I tried to uninstall it, and it pretty much does break the system, like, I don't get why, like, it pretty much just tries to reinstall itself. It, it's very hard to ex understand, but it's it's a hard thing to pull off, but you can get away with it. With the right tweaks. The right tweaks. What I said may have not made sense, may not be accurate to this day. Again, that was like a whole year ago. That was that... God damn, was that actually a year ago? God damn. God damn. Alright. So. Let's just uh, take a look here. Um, Let's get out of here. Let me out. <laughs> See, this is this one. Satire. Times are changing. People in the 60s. I better not say that or the government will wire trap my house. But today. Hey, wire trap, do you have a recipe for pancakes? <laughs> wow, that is nice. This thread is archived. New comments cannot be posted, and votes cannot be cast. Well. <laughs> you try your best, but you don't succeed. Alright. 1990. Inc Intel included a processor id in their CPU. Uh, this, this is wrong. Can it be used to implement DRM? Exploit found in the DRM partition. This is awful since it can potentially compromise the DR compromise DRM. Man, PC bundled with Windows. Antitrust violation. 2017 phone bundled with Android. With locked bootloader and unrootable. Normal. My LG V20, which the idiot that is typing this, bought and updated before attempting root. Sense was, du Sense was duped to think this was G4. LG would open all bootloaders. Bootloaders. So the user deleted this, probably because he saw he was on the top, or he just, four years ago. Holy crap. No wonder why it's saying 2017. All right, let's let's continue scrolling down. The Librem Five. Anybody concerned about privacy should look into the Librem Five. Any attempt at open source software hardware kill switch phone is a first step in the right direction. I'm not involved in the project. I'm just interested in this type of thing. I can agree with that. Um, and me coming from an avid, li and me being an avid Linux user, I can say, I love my privacy. I'm never going back to Lin. I'm never going back to Windows. I just had the worst voice crack. <coughs> Coronavirus. Fifty million users, let's see. Firefox. Mozilla. 
Oh, this is a rare meme. Oh, would you look at this right here? All right. I mean, I is it? Didn't these guys get like a uh, like a like some kind of medal or something of like peace or something? It's down by eighty percent despite Mozilla's top executive pay going up four hundred percent. I mean, yeah. To me, like if if, if the browser that I currently use is Brave. Which it's at twenty million now, so it's gonna be more mo notable. All right, I think it's at like twenty five mil. I'm not sure. Let me adjust my microphone quickly. All right, sorry you had to hear that. But I'm gonna go shut that door. The gosh darn washing machine just turned on. Noise levels dropped by 10 decibels. That's crazy. All right, but uh, let's take a look. If if my uh, let's just say the browser that I currently use, if it goes over, let's say, hmm, 50 million users. I currently use Brave. All right, if it goes over 50 million users. I might not use it anymore. All right. Heck, I might even compile like a couple of my own, like my own browser. I compiled Chromium once before. I customized it. And god damn, do they actually somewhat make it hard to remove the the spyware in, in Google Chrome? I'm not even trying to flex here. I'm just. This is like all like a year ago, and that. When I first started getting into privacy and that, but nothing is illegal. It's just sad. But yeah, the reason why I I actually used to use Chrome bef when it was good, like when it was actually good, and that was like five years ago. I stopped using it three years ago. I went, and I actually went to Firefox three years ago, and then I went over to Brave. I think Brave is generally faster and more secure than Firefox, actually. Feel free to argue with me in the comments, but, and that's just because of its settings, alright? Everything is, nothing is illegal, nothing is illegal. If you're rich. Exactly. Everything is legal for a price. See this one more. Nothing is illegal if you're rich. Nothing is illegal if you can afford a lawyer. Oh my gosh, we're just getting into crime here. Alright, let's just scroll down to the next comment. What's happening exactly? Mozilla not being the brightest company again? I mean, Fire. I mean, uh, Firefox actually is a pretty decent browser. I've been mainly try looking at it once again, seeing if I should go back at it. But has lost almost fifty million users. Wait, no. Hold up, we gotta see this. Firefox has lost almost fifty million users. Here's why it is concerning. Oh, uh, it's, it's an old logo that's not oversimplified. Would you look at that? 200 million? I thought it was at 50 million, but holy crap. Mozilla Firefox is the only popular alternative to Chromium. Popular. Alternative to Chromium based browsers. It has been a default choice for Linux users and is and is privacy conscious users across every platform. However, with all the benefits 
as one of the best web browsers around, it is losing its grip for the past few years. To be honest, we do not even need a stat to say that. Many of us have switched over to Chromium-based browsers, or Chromium There is a reason why you went from Firefox. There's a reason why you went from Chromium to Firefox. You realize that, right? I came across a, a Reddit thread by u.nixcrafts, which highlighted more details on the decline of the user base of Firefox since 2018. And surprisingly, the original source of information is Firefox's public data report. We are taking a look at this. Firefox public data report. Daily usage shows the hours spent browsing for a typical Firefox desktop client in typical day of use. Globally, Firefox usage is around five hours per day. Uh, dude, they are collecting user data. How, how many days per week users use the browser? Three? So it never hits four. That's not kind of really good. Man. All right, let's, let's get back to Reddit. All right. Fifty million users. Damn. That's a lot of people lost. I'll have to read into that. I'm going to actually read into that. <laughs> so we... So will we lose Firefox maybe after a few years? I know it won't die anytime soon, but eventually, maybe Mozilla won't be able to keep up, keep the browser up with the new changes, additions to the web, and make using Firefox a bad experience. Or do they have some backup? You know, I think they definitely do have some backup. They're, hey, they're a big company, and they support privacy, especially user privacy, all right? Um... I think they might have some kind of backup. Like you can see with Thunderbird, when you like log in through some of the first times, it tells you that Thunderbird is being actively maintained by the community and not Mozilla anymore. And it helps to donate or, or report any bugs to the community team. I think that is actually crucial. So I think that might be their backup plan. I think once it does switch over, I think like to community open source stuff etc I think it might actually become a really good distribution not distribution a uh, a good browser um it's like Thunderbird I use it on a daily basis all right like heck see right in there see it right there Glorious torch. All right. So we will lose after a few years. I don't see us losing Firefox after a few years. Heck, this is four months ago, and we haven't seen anything else like this for a while. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a Firefox user. All right. If Firefox ends up defunct, I'll just switch to Google Ultron. What the hell is this? Hold on, we're discovering a lot of things today. Google Ultron. Let's Google Ultron. Used by NASA. Power powered by download more RAM. <laughs> powered by download more RAM. What? The Adobe Reader engine is not not only helps display your web pages much faster and more accurately, 
It also protects your PC from viruses and makes your PC over 9,000% faster. What the hell? What the hell? It's, it even says it's not secure. Wait, hold on. Connection upgraded HTTPS for... We're gonna block all cookies on this website. I'm sorry, Google Ultron, but what the hell? Security Ultron brings you the best in security and encryption. It directly takes her. You know what we're getting? We're gonna create a new video. That's exactly what we're gonna do, is create a new video. You know what, I'm bookmarking this webpage. All right. I'm bookmarking it, it's not secure. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. They just doxed themselves. This just looks like, um, it just takes the Google Chrome. Bro, it just takes the Google Chrome. What? I mean, hey, my connection's being upgraded to HTTPS. All right, let's get back. This is already an amazing episode. I'm thinking we're gonna, I'm gonna end this video around the 20 minute mark. All right. This. I'm not even in my account. My God, that is crazy. This thing is crazy, bro. All right, I would say Libre Wolf until the end. The infancy with the very aggressive buy hole in the W land, and the digital world becomes a Dystopia, that surf or crystal? The fuck is the crystal, bro? It just reminds me of the time when I would just cry in stalls of the bathroom. But like, like that's just that just sounds like a crystal. You cr you download it and it makes you go to the public bathroom and cry in the stalls. All right. So Crystal seems like it might be good something. YouTube doesn't work with NetSurf or Crystal, but that's why you have FreeTube. Or new pipe on Android. I'm actually looking at maybe uh getting a couple of like YouTube alternatives because YouTube is actually starting to get really sketchy now. Because if you remain on it for too long, bro, it just forces so much cookies and trackers like down your 
down your throat that like you're choking on it. Like seriously, I can show you that. Maybe that's gonna be in a future video. But let's get to the bo Never mind. We're not gonna go to the bottom of this. We're just gonna read like one more comment. Let's find one. This is the longest comment thread I've ever found. Finally. Firefox sank like my childhood did. <laughs> okay, for the past 10 plus years, I often switch, switch between Chrome and Firefox or using both alternative, but for the past 3 to 5 years, I stuck to Firefox and all that smart and tech stuff so I can, so can you tell me what, what might be missing? Great. Much Firefox is good. Its problem is that the competitors are easier t to acquire. Chrome, Safari, and or Edge come on most systems. Then, on top of that, Chrome is advertised on the front page of most popular search sites. This means that most people have have to go out of their way to use any other option, since all three of all three of those are all good options. Just most just use them. All right, thanks for the answer, man. You know. That's rare to see on Reddit. Someone saying thank you. That's kind of rare. Alright, but... I think that we're going to be, uh... Ending the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Currently working on trying to, uh... Record more often. Alright. As of yet, I'm not creating any child-friendly videos, so... Growing my channel's hard. I know. The more... It, like... I need more motivation in order to grow my channel, alright, man? I need motivation in order to learn how to edit. Now, I'm not going to go out of my way to create nursery rhymes, okay, man? I'm not going to really ever create child-friendly videos, alright, man? In videos where I don't curse, I don't curse. In videos where I curse, I curse, alright, man? Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're a daily watcher. And, um, have a, ni have a nice new year. It's January 1st for me. If it's January 2nd for you, let me know what the future is like. Um, hope you enjoyed.